Men of Reddit who proposed and she said no. What happened afterwards with your life? We lived together for another 6 years until she changed her mind and told me that I should ask again. We were engaged for over a year and got married in 1991. We are still married, have 3 children, and are both still very much in love. She said yes on the second proposal and now we're divorced. Edit. Reddit is such a weird place. All the carefully thought out posts and comments get zero recognition and then this random off the cuff remark is my most liked comment. Glad you all got a kick out of it. For those wondering, I've been single for a year. I spent last night with a smart, beautiful woman and had a blast. Life is good. She had said she wasn't really a fan of marriage. So I thought proposing non-marriage might be well received. And I wanted us to be together for the rest of our lives. So I asked her not to marry me. She said no. We have been married for 10 years. It was really really bad for a while. Then it was really bad. Then it became really bad. Then it became bad. Then it was just blah. Then it was neutral. Then things started to get better. They continued to get better by me learning to be happy and me doing me things. I eventually found someone else. And things have been getting better for 20 years now. Dated a woman for over 2 years and popped the question. First time she said I don't know. A couple months later I asked her again. She said maybe. I was pretty bent out of shape. But then I found out she was sleeping with several of my friends so I dodged a bullet there really. I asked her right out of high school. But she wasn't ready. We stayed together. Went to college at the same school. Spent the first year in separate dorms. Then moved in together. Got married a few years later. Our 20th is coming up. We were living together. I asked. She said no. I love you but I need to think about it. I don't think I'm ready yet. Can you give me some time and ask later? A few months go by. I ask again. Same response. A few more months. Same deal. A couple more weeks and then she says hey. What do you think of us getting married? I replied. That's an excellent idea. Why didn't I think of that? Our 39th anniversary is next month. So this actor. Patrick Moot. Proposes to his girlfriend at a basketball game and gets turned down. While on the giant jumbotron. Clip goes on YouTube. ETC. Etc. She tells him later that she turned him down because she thinks his D is too small. So he travels around the world. Documenting what other cultures think about D size and D enlargement. And made a movie about it called. Unhung Hero. I've never watched it. But the title alone makes me laugh. My mother turned my father down. But didn't outright break up with him. She just wasn't sure about the marriage idea. She valued her independence and was nervous about commitment. No hard feelings. Though. He called up the next day when she'd had more time to think about it. And she said yes after all. They celebrated 32 years of marriage last month. This is the story of my parents. My dad asked my mom to marry him several times. She said no. Several times. One day my dad asked my mom to marry him. Yet again. She said yes. He freaked out and left her apartment and dumped her. Three weeks later he hated his life without her and begged her to take him back and marry him. They were married 9 months later for 16 years until my mom passed from cancer. They loved each other so much and had such a deep appreciation for each other. That was 25 years ago. My dad has not remarried. No one will ever come close to my mama. She said yes as I had a special occasion planned. One of those observation wheels and I proposed at the very top and we were on our way to a family event and I had a ring made and everything. Then a few days later she said no. Everything fell apart. I was distraught. We continued dating for a while but it was long distance. Other side of the world. When I visited it would be super awkward. Eventually he dad kicked me out. Was flying standby and was stuck in an airport for 4 days. Took me years to recover. Now I am happily married and I'm glad it never worked out. I was not in a good place when I met her and her family were super controlling. It would never have worked. The woman I married is super cool and is my best friend. Turned out better than expected. My dad proposed to a woman who said no. My dad was a violent alcoholic and she said she couldn't be with him unless he got clean. Took him a little while. But he did it. 
He wound up meeting my mom through a matchmaker and they've been married 25 years. If that woman never said no to him, he never would have gotten clean. It was the lowest points in his life. But it all brought him to my mom who makes him happier than ever. My dad talks to her sometimes. She got married to someone else and they had a son who died from a medical condition. I was a young marine. I was only home during the weekends. Was dating this girl for about a year from my hometown. When I asked she said yes. Her dad former navy kept saying we should wait. We put it off for a bit longer. Fast forward another year. She dumped me. Father informs me she has been sleeping with a lot of guys. Like more than 50 over the 2 years we dated. And was very happy I didn't marry her. And apologizes to me for her behavior. She then totally ghosting everyone including her family for about 6 months. Find out she moved 7 hours away and was living under a house. Not a basement. Under a house with her new BF. She calls her mom to come get her. Mother and father ask me to go get her and bring her home. Good times. Good times. She had cancer. I said we should get married because I had full medical coverage from my work. She said no. And over time we grew apart. Haven't talked to her in 15 years. Don't know if she died. My husband asked three times in the span of a couple months. We had dated for three years. He was ready. I wanted to graduate college first. Also, don't propose by handing your sew a ring while you're both in the car on the way to Burger King. I'm low maintenance, but put some thought into it. We'd been dating for a year and a half, and I was due to move out on orders, was in the army. She suggests we get married. I said no way, I was going off to school, army type, for 6 months. Then a year on a deployment to the Middle East, it just wouldn't work. She was calm. And then said you think I'll be a burden to all of that, but I'll actually be a help. Well just seconds earlier all I could think of was what a pain in the ass it would be to get married and leave. And now it, for whatever reason, seemed perfectly reasonable that she was right. We got married a week later at the courthouse. I was 22. Last month we had a nice socially distant dinner party for our 29th anniversary with our two amazing kids and a few friends. Not my story but someone I'm friends with. They both had itty homes and became a couple at 14. Somewhere around 20 he proposed to her. She said she wasn't ready to commit yet. After that he'd proposed to her every year partially in hopes she would be ready but it was also kind of a ritual where he would show her that he's still serious. She would say no every time. In their late 20s he was done with his studies. She could see the finish line so she told him she's ready. Meaning marriage and eventually children. That's when he gets second thoughts about marrying the only woman he ever had a relationship with and he wasn't sure if he was making a mistake. They went on a break. She went to the US, from Europe, to do her PhD at the MIT. They drifted apart more. She moved on and found a new long term relationship with a partner that's a lot better for her while he quickly regretted ending the relationship and started ducking whoever he could find on Tinder without being able to form a meaningful relationship after. I spoke to her about it beforehand, and she seemed really keen on the idea. So I decided to propose about a week after in front of all our friends she was so shocked she picked me up off my knee and shooed me away. Most of our friends were confused, because everyone knew it was going to happen, and she said she was excited for it. I didn't know what to do. It was all really embarrassing and later she explained she didn't mean no she just didn't know what to say and was scared. She said yes after apologizing profusely and just this year we celebrated our 9th anniversary. Edit. I'm happy that this comment blew up. But I feel like the next time I tell someone it as an icebreaker they're going to say I read this on Reddit. In 2017. Google came up with this idea to allow you to make photo books out of your Google Photos account. My girlfriend and I had been dating for almost 2 years and I knew she was the one I wanted to marry. So I created this wonderful photo book of all of our selfies together and ended it with a page made out of a photo I generated that said will you marry me. I then proceeded to put all these things into an album and build the photo book. What didn't occur to me at the time was that the album I put these in was a shared album and the other person gets a notification when you add new photos to it. And the other person that the album was shared with? My girlfriend. That evening. We had dinner and it all came out. She saw the photo. 
she wasn't ready. There were a few reasons why but they were good reasons and smart reasons mostly to do with timing, family, and finances. We weren't breaking up. We just weren't getting engaged at that time. A year later. We have fully discussed the concept of getting married. We went ring shopping. She picked her own ring. And by the time I actually did propose we both knew what her answer would be. We celebrated our first wedding anniversary in April. It seems to have worked out so far. And the photo book is on a shelf to my left as we speak. We received a letter from the immigration office saying that she was lacking some documents. At the moment we were stressed both of us with work and study and none of us were sufficiently fluent in German to decipher this kind of language. We went to the university office for foreign students. The lady in charge translated to us the letter badly, telling us that even presenting the documents they would proceed with the deportation process. We panicked. Looking for some more help we ended in the city hall. With the adrenaline rush I proposed to her in quite a loud voice. If we get married. Could we stop the deportation I asked to the poor poor guy in the information office. I can't remember if he gave us an answer. I want to marry her. Will you marry me? She started laughing. I started laughing. The guy in the office gave us the telephone to the pertinent department and asked us to call. We went out of the city hall and we couldn't stop laughing. She said to me well. Thank you. But let's wait a bit. After the weekend we went to immigration office and the people there explained which documents were missing. How to get them. She wasn't denied the visa and we kept living in the way we planned. It was intense and, in retrospective, really funny. Addendum. We are not married, and never planned, but we live together. She got a job that provides her with a visa. Soon she will present herself to citizenship exam. My mom told my dad no when he proposed to her even though they were already living together. She thought he was impotent and it wasn't until she got pregnant that she said yes. In retrospect, I wish my parents had decided early in their relationship that they can barely stand each other. We met in her home country of Germany while I was traveling. I knew I was in love. We dated long distance for a while. Me flying to Europe. Her flying to the US. I suggested marriage so we could be together. She said no a few times. I didn't press. But I was patient and not being pushy. I knew she was worth the wait. And it hit her that's how we could be together. If we got married. We could live in a country together. The difficulties of being born on a different patch of dirt. A few years later. I'm still married to my best friend and living with her in Germany. Not all no's stay no. Life goes on. Not me but a guy I knew. Proposed to his then girlfriend in a restaurant. Made sure to have a friend record it. She walked out when he popped the question and pretty much ghosted him. He started drinking. Found a new passion in gambling and gambled all his savings away. He ended up living on money of the state. Works a garbage picker job now and almost set his house on fire at least four times that I know of by making food and falling asleep drunk. He was an interesting guy. Friendly to some but the state he's in is just sad. Hope at some point he picks up his life again. Haven't heard of him in years though so no idea where he is now. Said no. We broke up. Got back together. Got a job in Alaska for the summer and forgot to tell me. Then we don't talk for years. There was a shooting at my church. She calls me out of the blue to make sure I'm okay. After an awkward pause well I want to make sure you didn't do something stupid like go after the shooter. Then she hung up. But here is a good story. I was 20 and she was 18. We had been really close friends for years. We were in that awkward should be date. Or shouldn't we? Phase. So we went out to dinner. She told me you realize if we go this route. We're getting married in a couple of years. So we talked about what we really wanted out of life. She wanted to be a pastor's wife. I believe God loves stupid people cause he made so many. We realized we both wanted different things from life. Been friends for 20 years. Had a rough patch when she got married and the guy couldn't comprehend why I would be that close to her and not want to marry her. But now everything is good. Edit. Two girls. Two stories. One cup. Dim sum but especially chung fan. It's my favorite dim sum dish it's just shrimp wrapped in rice noodle with a sweet dipping sauce. But oh my god is it delicious. Dim sum is generally pretty inexpensive and there's so many dumpling options to choose from. About 2 years later I met my wife of 22 years. We are happily married. 
the one who said no got married for the first time last year and seems happy. My wife is way into me in ways that the former girlfriend never was and I see my life as far happier with my wife than I ever was with the one who said no. He's not a bad person. I was just young and in love with someone who wasn't in love with me. It worked out for the best. I'm glad she said no. I was proposed to several times by men when I was living in the Middle East. I think they just went and found the next American girl to propose to.